Yes, I, um, when I lived and uh, was president of York College, which is a member unit of the City University of New York, and that system is the second largest system uh, in the United States. Um, I was very active in the Asian community because I've traveled and I've lived a lot in uh, Asia, and I've worked a lot, and I've done cooperative uh, partnerships with many of my colleagues in Asia. In fact, when I was Vice President for Academic Affairs at St. Cloud State University, one of my assignments was to uh, write the proposal to help to develop an off-campus in Anik, I mean, not in Anik, in uh, uh, Akita, Japan. And so I got very much involved with people from the Far East. And so I had an affinity for working with the Asian community. So as president of York College, I, I continued that work. And someone recommended me to the ambassador uh, from Korea. And he chose four people to go to um, Korea as the guests of the government. And the idea was that we were citizens ambassadors from the United States of America. I don't, I think at the time the interest was there was tensions between the African American community and the Korean community uh, because you know they were shooting blacks who were stealing from their stores and there was a lot of friction and so the ambassador wanted to have a program where the Korean people would better understand African Americans. And so I was one of four people who had been chosen to go. And we were given a royal tour um, of Seoul, Korea, and uh, we went up to the DMZ, and it was just um, just an eerie experience to, to go to the border between South Korea and North Korea and to see the guards standing there with their stoic faces, not smiling, not returning any graces to us, and so we were able to have that experience to go in where the peace treaty was signed, and uh, just to visit all the industries and uh, meet with the people of Korea, go to the universities. One of my accomplishments that I'm most proud is that I was able to convince the government, who had been putting a lot of money into sending students from Korea to our Ivy League institutions like Harvard and Yale, they would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and my suggestion to them was one way for you to help to foster relationships would be to invest dollars in African American students and allow them to come to Korea to study. And that government funded three students from York College to go and they went and spent an academic year studying in Korea. And they came back and they are now in international politics because of that experience. So it was a wonderful, wonderful exchange that I just truly, truly treasured and uh, really enjoyed meeting and interacting with the people of Korea and understanding the country and, and their yearning for peace.